الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله نويت السنة الاعتكاف the Prophet of mankind, the peace of a hearts and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said, whoever recites durood sharif 1000 times daily will not die until he sees his home in heaven. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're continuing the... Uh, the topic, the respect of a Muslim, the character and the attributes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we talked about where we were getting these bad habits from and how we can implement these good habits by following the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we approached question 35 out of 52 questions. He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was naturally very gentle and would remain delighted. You know, hush tabiyat, smiling. What do we do? Our, we come and smile at someone. You know, even sometimes negative thoughts, well, you know, you're giving me this advice, you know, using that smile in a negative aspect, like smiling at women. No, this is smiling at your brother with respect that you love him for the sake of Allah. And maybe your smile will enlighten his heart. He'll become happy himself. He might have some problem that he's come and he speaks to you. You've smiled. You've taken all his problems away just by your smile. And he was very gentle in character. 36. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never screamed. So the andaz, the level of speaking. If our voice is getting higher into the level of screaming then we have to be careful how we use our voice and how we use our tongue. This screaming can frighten people. You know, the aggression and the, the way we talk to someone. Well, this generally, if you look at the children, they scream because when they see a spider, they, they get scared because of that. But sometimes our screaming is when we are angry at someone and we're using our words in the negative aspect. So this is why very important, use your speech gently. He وسلم, never spoke harshly to anybody. Harshly meaning using words of uh, hatred or in the sense of upsetting someone. Harshly could be to gain something from somebody. He never spoke harshly. And we should adapt this if we love the Prophet And 38, he وسلم, never blamed people. We become blamers. We are blaming individuals for no reason. If something goes uh, harab in the house, you did it, I didn't do it. Maybe it's happened from your hands. But we become blamers and pointing at each other. He وسلم, saved himself from three things. One, quarreling. We've become quarrelers. And the Prophet وسلم, never quarreled. And you see with husband and wife we're quarreling. We're arguing. And then he ends up with a divorce. And then arrogance, another thing the Prophet وسلم, did not have. Yeah, and involving himself in unnecessary activities. Now we become, when it's the time of salah, we're playing cricket, we're playing football, we're watching television. Useless activities when the time of azan is called, we don't even come to the masjid. We don't even put our masala down. We're too busy on our phones. These are useless activities on social media. Look what's happening in social media. So much information on there that's destroying our mind. We're confused on what to do. The news is all, uh, we, can, we can't believe it anymore. Your best news, if you want the news, read the Qur'an. Read the translation of the Qur'an and inshallah, you'll understand what's happening around the world and you'll know what's to come when the signs of the Day of Judgment are coming. 
Okay. Number 41. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, would never find faults with people. We find a lot of faults with people. Whether it's little faults, just examine yourself. Do we do this? He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, would never tell a person off due to personal reasons. So you'll never tell a person off due to personal reasons. 43. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not only advised people to perform good deeds, but also did it himself. For example, traveling on the Madani Kafila. We don't travel ourselves, but we'd rather tell our brother, Qasim, Madri Kafla, please. But I'm not going Madri Kafla myself. I need to show an example, like father and son, father telling, uh, you should give sadhka to his son, look, if someone's happy, give some sadhka, but father doesn't give himself. Oh, son, you give sadhka, it's all right. So it's like salah as well. If a father's not eating salah and you're telling his son or daughter to read salah, what kind of example is he showing? So we have to do things ourselves first and then implement it to others. He sallallahu alayhi wa patiently tolerate the harsh words and un- unnecessary questions of a traveler. He sallallahu alayhi wa never interfered or interrupted someone's conversation. When someone's talking, how do we approach that person? Do we wait when they finish talking and then do we then ask permission? Can I speak? Sometimes when we go into someone's house, we don't seek permission, we just go into the house. We become intruders. And if someone's having a conversation, we should stop and wait till he finishes. And then you give your salam and then you speak. If anyone, uh, number 46, if anyone spoke unnecessarily, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would forbid him or leave the place. 47, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was so simple and humble that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not specify any prominent place for himself to sit. 48, he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would sometime rest upon a blessed mat and sometime upon the ground without spreading anything. 49, he, when sleeping, he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would sometimes use his blessed hand as a pillow. 50, the blessed speech of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was so clear that if a person wanted, he could easily count the number of words. So this is advice for me as well. If my speech, if I'm reading too fast, maybe you guys won't understand what I'm telling you. I need to speak slower and clear words for you to understand this dars. But when we've got a child and we speak fast with him, he can understand your words. Dad, what are you telling me? Friend, what are you telling me? So we need to speak on that level with that person. But look at the Prophet's andaz. How he speaks to people, very slowly, gently, clear words. And I think this is what we need to do. We use slang words, uh, we try to dodge the corners of the words, right? And look what it leads to. We, sometimes understanding, it goes out of our mind. What is that this person telling? Even our teachers at school, colleges, if they don't have the experience to teach, like how the method they're going to teach, then it's going to be a problem for them. The child is not going to learn anything. Yeah? So 51. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never laughed aloud. Meaning, if there is someone else, he will hear the sound of laughing. So if there's someone here, he will hear the laughing. Sometimes we laugh so loud. But the Prophet alayhi wa smiled. There was no laughing sound. But, you know, we hear people laugh. And if even in salah, if you laugh, your wudu will become invalid. And even if you're laughing in the masjid, sometimes uh, one of the speeches or dars deliverers might pull off a joke and you might laughing you start laughing loudly and this this is this is not uh, permissible in the masjid we can't laugh in the masjid we have to be very careful where we laugh and how we laugh you know our laughing should be smiling yeah inshallah so last and final 52 whilst talking he sallallahu alaihi wasallam would never stare at the face of the person he was talking to so sometimes uh, we stare at that person. You know, if you want something from that person, in a negative aspect, you did this. Uh, or you crushed my car, you scratched my car. But I'm just giving you examples of what we would do. But you've got a better idea of what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah? So the Prophet Ali Islam would lower his gaze and he would glance sometimes. And, you know, this is what we should not do is stare at someone's face negativity. Okay? Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah.
الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين قلت حيلة أنت وسيلة أدركني يا رسول الله يا الله عز وجل accept our salat al-asr in your court يا الله عز وجل today we have completed uh, the respect of the Muslim chapter regarding the character and the attributes of our beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam Ya Allah Azza wa Jal the examples I have given uh, metaphoric examples Ya Allah Azza wa Jal forgive me if I made any mistakes in giving these examples Ya Allah Azza wa Jal you know the status we know the status of the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ya Allah Azza wa Jal he's the last Prophet and he was sent as a rahmatan lil alameen to the worlds Ya Allah give us the true love of the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and gain his closeness to his, uh, his blessings Ya Allah by sending through the uh, salutations upon him Ya Allah let us achieve the ziyara of Nabi Kareem sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and Ya Allah with the blessing of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bless Kashmir, Palestine, Syria, Yemen, Lebanon and all the Muslim countries that are uh, being oppressed by the non-Muslims Ya Allah relieve them from this oppression Ya Allah give them uh, sustenance and peace and tranquility and unity Ya Allah Azzawajal, give us the preparation of the Akhirah and oncoming in the UK Ya Allah the lockdown restrictions are getting worse Ya Allah bless all the Muslims and give them sabr take the anxiety and the problems that are occurring financially and Ya Allah Azzawajal, if they are uh, unable to pay their mortgages and having problems Ya Allah relieve them. Ya Allah, there's a buzurg who gave some donations uh, as a sadaqa for his daughters. Ya Allah, so give her daughter shifa. Ya Allah, so her daughter is having serious uh, problems. Ya Allah, so give her shifa for the sake of Karbala. Sallallahu ala nabiyyil ummi wa alihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salatahu wa salaman alayki ya Rasulullah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.